Red starved. Um, by God, there's so many things we can say about this episode. I mean, just tons. It goes in so many different directions and so many twists and turns. And yeah, this is probably like one of the most laid back episodes I've seen. Actually, I think they've done. Um, it's it, it seemed very just, just wait. It's just, just oh, there's wait. even more. Okay. Um, well, which is weird because if you like the the setup is. It seems like a lot would happen with it. They go to this, like, this sand city filled with sand people, but they're all, they're literally just sand. They don't move or anything. And, uh, Jake accidentally ate all the, all the snacks, and they're with Marceline. Uh, he also ate Marceline's red erasers, so she needs red or else she's gonna go, you know, ballistic and turn into a monster and stuff. So, uh, Finn tries to go look for red, and she keeps talking about how she's gonna eat Jake, so eventually Finn finds this, what he thinks is a ruby, but he's very uniquely colorblind, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and this thing that, it got, there's like a couple things, it was almost like, I, I don't know, it's almost like Tomb Raider or an Indiana Jones or something, you had to solve this mystery through like this archaeology or whatever, um, where if you hear lightning, by the way, it's storming, I'm sure you put that together, but, um, and, uh, there's this guy that turned all these people to sand, but he's, like, dead. He's a skeleton. And this other guy was sending this beam of light to him to turn everybody into sand. And he's been doing it for something like 500 years. Yeah. Something really, really long, because he's spaced out. And he's like, oh, man, well, don't need this emerald anymore. Uh, Finn keeps saying it's a ruby, so whatever. He takes it. They say goodbye, goes back up. Turns out it is an emerald because Finn can only see red and gray. No, no, he can't. How? Yeah, how does that color blind work again? He's greens as reds or yeah, grays? Yeah, that's or? what it seems like, yeah. Okay, so. So his backpack must be uh, red to him. So, which is kind of confusing because then when you go to the episode where Marceline eats all the red, would he be like, well, no, you're eating green. Clearly you're eating green or whatever, but I. I don't know that <laughs> maybe a nitpick. I don't know, but uh, but then it's okay because uh, Peebles comes in in this giant sandworm and Marceline kind of eats Peebles <laughs> a little bit, uh, yeah. or at least sucks out a little bit of her red. But thankfully they got the spoon of was it Regent? prosperity at uh, the spoon of prosperity, which she puts on her nose and that fully brings her back to normal, and then they leave it. <laughs> I'm trying to think what even to say about it because it's like on the one hand it's like it's hard to say oh that was a total waste or, or that was pointless or something because it's like I still like hanging with these people it's like even when they're like when Finn's just talking to that three-eyed thing I mean there's yeah. just just finding out and what happened oh that kind of sucked it's like well I really want that ruby man it's, it's, there's still such a likable attitude to them that even when they're not doing much I still like just hanging with them um you know, I, I sort of liked when Marceline was transforming and getting more creepy looking, so I thought that was fun. Um, I, I love that that worm thing that comes in that uh, Peebles is riding. Sandworm. Yeah, the sandworm. Um, I love how all the stuff is connected to her yeah. head, too. I just always love, like, you know, you're always like, how does this work? How does her inventions work and stuff? I just love that. Um, I don't think that's an invention. Was it an actual, like... Yeah, I guess it did sort of have, like, a tongue and everything, didn't it? I think it's an actual creature that she just conquered. Or did, or did she create it? Because they were all connected possible. to her brain, yeah, so that would kind of make sense. Completely possible. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, I don't it, it, I'm mostly watching it like, okay, when is something gonna happen? When are we gonna get to something really? Because I didn't laugh too hard during this yeah. episode either, but... I don't know. It, for some reason, I just, I didn't mind it, because it just sort of seemed like a very laid-back, eh, whatever kind of episode. Um, and those once in a while are okay, so it's sort of depending on how they're spaced out, and you're all sort of like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> what were your thoughts? Uh, I, I liked when Jake, like, kind of turned the, like, page... And started was like, oh, I'm gonna cook you instead. Mm -hmm. yeah. That I found funny. I, I like his reasoning too. You're gonna eat me. Well, you're gonna eat me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the survival of the fittest, I guess. Um, I liked that. Um, I actually was more interested in what Finn was doing than this whole 
Jake and Marcy thing. Like, it was interesting and all that, but I was like, watching Finn just going through it, I was like, oh, that's kind of neat. What, ooh, what's that over there? Okay, yeah. stay out of the red, okay. Oh, what's that? You know, I was way more interested in that, but... Yeah, and again, I think part of that is, too, because it was just so laid back. Even talking to these clearly dead, or, or maybe not dead, way, you know, he had to ask if they're dead, which is now a very valid question in this world. Yeah. I mean, because there's so many times where it's like, yeah, it's probably a good thing to ask, honestly, because you never know. Uh, and again, knowing this world, they would probably answer honestly. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, I, I think I did enjoy that more. Yeah, the, uh, the Marceline and Jake stuff, like, it was, it, it was cute, but yeah, it sort of, it dragged on a bit, you know, and I, like, like I said, this episode didn't have too many funny things in it, but it, like I said, it, I felt it was, it, it was okay as long as, like, the episode before and the episode after aren't the same thing, you know, it's like, well, sort of like, was, next episode I like to see something happen. Well, was, episode before this was Box Prince. Yeah, I guess it's kind of, yeah, but I guess we had a week <laughs> to kind of yeah. let, let that settle, too. So maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe this was a bad episode because it came after Box I'm not saying it was a bad episode. No, but you know what I mean, like, like, you know, yeah. laid back, whatever. Um, yeah, so I, I think a lot of it, if they didn't have, yeah, that whole civilization of sand people and the setup and the guy down there that he comes across, yeah, I think you're right. I think it would have just been like, well, that was pointless or whatever, but that... That was just intriguing enough, and that yeah. was just interesting enough and creative enough. I'm like, okay, yeah, I I want to know what was going on here, and I'm strangely enough kind of glad I don't know either. It's sort of like either left to your imagination or they're going to continue it later or whatever. Um, so, yeah, just a very eh. I, I just like when Finn got the spoon from Marcy, though. It's like, yay! <laughs> um... So yeah, I, I I don't know. Like I said, and this is, I guess in a strange way, an episode like this really is a testament to good characters because I can watch them almost pretty much do nothing and still kind of be okay, <laughs> you know, because I just like I just like watching them that much, you know. You, you bring up a very good point with that, and you know, yeah, you're right. I was okay watching it. I wasn't like God, I can't stand this, but no, I think you're right. Really good writing or really good characters, you can actually watch them. Fix a truck. <laughs> or, yeah, just do... I saw what you did there. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. I, I got nothing. Neither do I. Oh! Oh! Check out my oh, Father's Oh, yes, yes, Day. you do have something. I got a Father's Day gift from the best daughter ever! Oh! It's Gunter! Yes, and it's an official one, actually, see? Okay. It's an official. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, this is, uh, my daughter's, uh, Father's Day gift to me. It's a protector for my phone, which, if you look at my phone, it is completely destroyed on, like, so many levels, it's not even funny. But yes, best daughter ever. Yes. But now Gunther will protect it! Yes. That's it, I'm done. <laughs> my, my Ice King goes into the Mad Hatter for some reason. We're gonna have a very merry birthday party! Oh my goodness! <laughs> You made her laugh. I guess. Of, well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at making kids that buy Gunter protectors laugh. Gunter protectors? Is that like a condom for Gunter? <laughs> like you just go up to him and it's just the whole thing that covers him. Walks around, you know. Let's just give up on them and make Brie laugh. <laughs> that works. Come on. <laughs> She's about to crap herself over there. Come on. Let's go. We'll put a whole routine together. Do I have to? <laughs> did you hear the one about how the Ice King did the Mad Hatter? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 